Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to answer the age old question of what exactly is better, Varathane or Minwax tinnable stains. We are also going to be making a comparison to the old Minwax stains. On top of that, we're gonna test the effects of torching before and after applying the stain. So stick around. All right, as you can see here, I've already got my uh, raw material that we're gonna be using for this test cut. And I just put some like slits down the middle with the miter saw just to kind of keep everything separate. And I'm gonna go ahead and torch the tops of all of these. And I needed a couple more lines to just keep the blue and red separated. Uh, so I just used a razor blade to make a mark on them. And we're gonna start out with the Varathane and I'll put all the part numbers of everything up in the top right or left hand corner as we go. Um, and I, I had noticed right away that something just didn't seem right and it didn't really seem properly mixed. So I went ahead and shook this up really well and it really made a big difference. So this stuff applies pretty nice. It's really thin. And what I'm going to do is have one side that is just brushed on and, and left alone. And then I'm going to take this, which is my right, and I'm going to wipe off the excess. And I like storing my brushes, even though these are cheap foam brushes, I just throw them in a bag. And I can usually get at least a few uses out of them. I figure there's no sense in throwing them away and, you know, there's no sense in washing them out. It, it takes too much time. So now we'll go ahead and use the red, and again, we'll shake that up really well. All right, now we're on to the new Minwax, and right away, just shaking the can, I can notice that there's a big difference. This is much thicker. These also come in plastic cans. Shouldn't really affect anything, but that's something that they've changed between this new stuff and the old stuff that they used to make. And now we're on to my old tried and true, the original Minwax. This is what I've always used. I'm really curious to see exactly how this is gonna pan out. Now we just wait for it to dry. All right, so we've given this stuff about 30 minutes to dry. Um, let's take a look at the results. The first thing that I'm noticing is that the Varathane, it doesn't really matter if we wiped or not, it's very even between the two, which I kind of like because, you know, if, if you didn't want to wipe, you can just put it on and, you know, continue on with the job. And I just think this has a lot to do with how thin that was. And the alternative to that is that both of the Minwaxes, the new and the old, 
um, are still actually a little tacky on the sides that didn't get wiped. Um, the, the new stuff isn't as bad as this one here, the old, that especially that red is pretty tacky. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're using the Minwax stuff. And as far as the areas that we did wipe the excess off on, um, I'm not noticing a huge difference between the three of them. Um, and we'll go ahead and just compare the two that you can actually get now, this being the Varathane and this being the new Minwax. Um, and you know, again, the only thing I'm really noticing is that because this was thinner, it's just a little lighter. So if you did wipe this off, um, it would probably be a little thin and you'd probably need another coat. It's actually very close between the wiped off Minwax and the uh, not wiped off Varathane side. And now let's really look at how the torched areas look. Um, you know, again, we had that Varathane, it was very thin. So that really seeps into the wood and you get some pretty nice even color there. On the Minwax, being that it's a lot thicker, on the side that we didn't wipe it off on, it's really hard to see that blue and get a, a you know, much of a difference between the torched area and the area that isn't. So I can't really say that I'm a fan of that. But on the side that we wiped it off on, I think it looks pretty good. And then back to the old Minwax, that kind of had the same effect where it was just a little thick. Um, so it's the side that we didn't wipe off really doesn't look very good. The side that we did wipe off looks pretty good though. So now let's go ahead and we'll finish torching the bottoms of these and we'll see how they react. All right, so now you can see that they're all torched. Uh, something to keep in mind here is this area of the wood really didn't have a lot of these wavy grains in it uh, like it does up top. So it kind of looks a little blotchy, but if you look down at the bottom, you can see just how it reacts when there are those waves in it. So that's the Varathane. Here's the new Minwax. And then here's the old. And I'm actually kind of surprised by this because a lot of people have been giving this new Minwax um, some bad reviews. And to me, it, it actually performed much better than the old stuff. Um, I, either way, I don't think I like using the Minwax uh, and, and just putting it on thick and not wiping it off. I think both of them look much better wiped off but I really can't say that the new stuff didn't perform at least as well as the old. But to be honest with you, I think I've really got to give it to Varathane on this. Um, it's just so much more even. The, the colors are, are much more even. And it was just much easier to apply being thin like that. So up until this point, all I've used is the old Minwax stuff. And this was kind of surprising to me. Um, you know, I've seen pictures of some of the Varathane online and how people do it, and I never really was that satisfied. But, you know, trying it here on my own and uh, using it the way that I use it, it came out great. And honestly, I never torch first. I always torch after just because I really like being able to read uh, how that grain is going to look uh, coming through the color. And I felt like I could never really do that with the Minwax, but with this Varathane, it came out great. So I really like that, and to be quite honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up making the change to just using this Varathane now. So I am going to go ahead and spray these with some clear. Personally, I just like using the rattle can of the Rust-Oleum uh, clear gloss. It's really cheap. It's like four bucks a can. I can get it at Walmart, and I'll put a link down in the description to that stuff in case you want to check it out. And here's some pictures of exactly how it looks with the clear applied to each one. So 
Thanks for checking the video out. If you haven't already done so, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. And a thumbs up on the video would also really help me out. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I always try to answer your guys' questions. And I just want to give a big shout out to these guys over here. These are the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. I really couldn't do it without you. And I'll see you all over on this next video.